Today we're going to be talking about one of the most important tools that you're going to be using as an actor, your headshot. I can't begin to express how important having a great headshot is to your career. When your agent submits you to a casting director, the very first thing they see is your headshot. If you don't have an agent and you're reaching out to agents, the first thing they see is your headshot. It is imperative that your headshot is powerful, it's compelling, and it reflects what you are selling. Now, I see a lot of headshots in this market that are not good. And I'm going to go over some rules that you should be following when you're picking out headshots, some tips on how to get really great headshots, and some pitfalls to avoid. The number one rule that you should follow, and I don't care if you ignore every other thing I say in this video, please do not ignore this. Your headshot must look exactly like you. Okay? Exactly like you. Uh, now, I don't want it to look like you on your absolute best day of the year. I don't want it to be a picture that you know, your, your face is angled just right, the shadow is just right, and you look gorgeous, but it doesn't look like you every single day. It must look exactly like you. Now, I tell people when you're getting ready to take a headshot, what you want to do is think about it in terms of a selfie and not a prom picture. Now, I don't literally mean take a selfie, but the mindset that goes into a selfie, uh, there's, not a lot of, there's not a lot of preparation. You just take it. You capture you, your essence, in that moment. And that's what you should be doing with your headshots. Um, as opposed to a prom picture when you're going to get all dressed up, all fancy, and you're going to change dramatically from the way you are on a day-to-day -day basis. You want to go in for your headshot sessions being you. And I tell people oftentimes, your headshots should look the way you look on an average Tuesday afternoon. However that is, is probably how your headshot should look. Um, you know, I, I interact with actors who have these amazing looks. Um, I'll see them, the people with their hair pulled back in a ponytail, kind of frumpy clothes, no makeup. They're amazing. They're utterly castable. And in my mind, I can see them cast in tons of roles. And they'll get, get headshots. They'll send them to me. And I will see someone who's now got makeup all over their face, they've got the spider legs on their, on their eyelashes, their hair's all done up, they've got fancy dresses on, and they have destroyed the wonderful, amazing thing that they are, that they were able to sell powerfully, and they just destroyed it by treating it like a prom picture. So I don't want you to do that. Um, we have to look like we do every single day. Um, you know, I see people who, they'll bring me their headshots, and their headshot looks 10 years younger than they do. Or their skin tone is drastically different from their skin tone in real life. That doesn't work. It doesn't work. And the, the reason this happens, very often, is because they use this thing called Photoshop. Photoshop is not your friend for your headshots, okay? Do not remove anything from your face if it is there every single day. So if you have a blemish, you have a pimple, and you want to get that taken off, fine. But anything that's on your face every single day, whether it's wrinkles, a scar, uh, a mole, whatever, it should stay in your headshot. Those lines on your face, you earn those by living. So don't get rid of them. Don't erase them. Now, I have people tell me that their headshot photographer uh, wants to use Photoshop on their headshots for their marketing purposes. And I say that's fine. A headshot photographer has a different purpose with those headshots than you do. Uh, they want to create a beautiful picture and put it on their website or their flyers or what have you to try to get more customers. And that's fine. Let them do that. But you, for your marketing materials, you should have a headshot that is not touched up where your face is, is uh, kind of brushed clean of any of these so-called imperfections because those imperfections are what make you special. They're what make you who you are and they make you stand out. So, Please, 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 don't use Photoshop to get rid of those wonderful things that are on your face. All right, second thing, no boring, pretty pictures. I see so many of these, and those are the kind of pictures that you should give to your mom for to hang up above the mantle in the living room, okay? They do not serve purpose in an acting career. Um, you know, when I used to uh, get pictures that were boring and pretty, my mom loved them and she framed them and she hung them up all over the house. 
But once I learned how to create effective headshots, she doesn't hang my headshots, any, headshots up anymore because uh, they're not nice looking, they're marketing tools. And that's what we have to always remember. Headshots are marketing tools. They're not to create pretty versions of ourselves. You know, uh, get those taken if you want for your family and your friends, but not for your acting business. Third, your headshots should reflect your brand. Now, as you all know, my approach to this acting career is I'm the CEO of a small business and I sell one product, me. If you accept that concept, then you have to accept all of the things that are taught in the major business schools in this country. And one of the things that's taught by all of them is to effectively sell a product, it must be branded and marketed. We are no different. So we must know what our brand is and then we must market that brand voraciously. We have to tell the buyers of our product what the product is they're looking to buy. Now, if you don't accept the concept that we're a small business selling product, then you don't have to accept the branding. Um, my guess is you're probably doing student films and community theater. Uh, there are a few actors out there whose internal view of themselves matches the way others perceive them, and so their, their natural brand is in congruence with the way others see them, and those people don't need to work on their branding. For most people, that's not the case. So uh, my advice to you is if you're going to get headshots, know what you're trying to sell and sell it like hell. Sell it, sell it, sell it. You have to stand out. You have to show them what your product is, and you have to do it in a powerful, powerful way. You want to be unique. If you go to a headshot photographer's website and you can basically replace the actors and everything else remains the same, all the poses, the colors, the lighting remains the same for every single actor, it's just the actor is the only thing different, you probably want to look elsewhere. You want to make sure that your headshots are reflecting you because headshots are about you, they're not about the photographer. You want to make sure that the headshot photographer is capturing your unique essence, your, your thing that makes you special, and not just replacing you uh, in a revolving door with other actors. Okay? Now, I know of a, of a headshot photographer in L.A. who actually requires, when, he gets, when actors get his headshots printed out, they have to have a special border around their picture with a certain color. There is no way I would do that. That, that headshot photographer is trying to brand actors' headshots with his brand, and it ain't about him. It's about the actor, so don't let that happen. Make sure that your headshot photographer that you work with is very keen on capturing you and what makes you unique and different from every other human being on Earth. All right, number five, no props and no costumes. If you show up for headshots, in a costume or with props, it is going to make you look like an absolute amateur. So, you want your headshots to reflect who you are, reflect what you sell, but there's a fine line. Um, if you're the, you know, the, the smart, uh, powerful, in control guy, you might want to get a, a headshot where you're in a suit and tie, but not in a cop uniform. You know, you don't want to dress up in a, in a, in a doctor's uh, or jacket with a stethoscope. Now, it's a little different for commercials. Commercials, you can get away with that, but I'm talking about specifically for TV and film. TV and film, uh, you want to reflect who you are, but you do not want to go into costume areas. That, that, that's going to make you look silly. Um, now, how do you go about getting great headshots? I have a couple things that I like to tell people. Number one, relax and have fun. It's not a big deal. It's digital now. I can take a thousand pictures. It's no big deal. If, if, if you don't like them, take some more. It's not that expensive. So don't let it become this huge thing in your mind that you have to deal with. Go and have fun, enjoy yourself, which you actually should be doing in everything with acting. Um, if you're having fun getting your headshots taken, the person who's viewing the headshots is going to have fun looking at them. Okay? Um, number two, something that helps out a lot is if you create little mini monologues that fit your brand, fit what you're trying to sell, say those to yourself as you're getting your shots taken. I don't know if you ever have noticed, but very often when you look at stills from a film or TV show, they are much more compelling than headshots. Headshots often have empty dead eyes and there's just nothing going on. 
The reason those stills are more powerful is because those actors are in the process of acting. They are thinking, believing, feeling. They are alive and the camera captures it. So, what we want to do with Headshot Session is do the exact same thing. Remember, a, a film camera captures 24 frames every second. With headshots, you're probably doing, you know, maybe one or two every second, if that. So, it's the same idea, though. If you come up with a little mini monologue, and when I say mini, I mean one or two sentences, um, say that to yourself over and over. Say it to the photographer. Create one that matches the photographer. Uh, if the pho photographer is a male or female, uh, you may want to adjust your, your, your little monologue to fit them. But think it, and things are going to be going on in your, in, your, in your eyes, interesting things. And people will ask me, oh, should I do a serious shot and a smiling shot? And, Who cares? Create a monologue that is serious. Create a monologue that tickles you. Create a monologue that makes you sad. And say them to yourself throughout the photo shoot. And what's going to happen is you're going to get these little magical moments to pop up on screen. That's what we want, the magic. We want to see some kind of little spark in your eye. And the way to do that is by being alive and acting during your headshot session. Now, don't say the, the monologues out loud because your photographer's probably going to think that you're crazy and we don't want that to happen. And again, I keep using the term monologue, but literally I mean one or two sentences. Um, and I'll give you an example for, for one of mine. Uh, I play a lot of violent characters, and so one of the things I will often do when I'm getting headshots, if I'm trying to go for a really dark, serious headshot, I'll say to myself, inside my mind, I will look at the headshot photographer and say something along the lines of, I'm going to kill you. And I just say that over and over and over until I have enough shots with that essence and then I'll switch to my next monologue, uh, which may be something a little lighter. Another thing, when, when you're looking at a camera uh, for your headshots, don't focus on the outside lens of the camera. Try really hard to think that you're looking through the camera to the eye of the photographer. And if you do that, it's going to make your headshots connect more with the viewer. Uh, if, you, if you focus on the, the lens itself, there's going to be just a little distance between you and the viewer. And, and we want to get rid of that. Now, it's, it's slight, but I think it does make a difference. So there's a couple thoughts about how to approach headshots, things you should be looking for. Um, I hope they're helpful. And again, I'll reiterate, because it's so important, make sure that your headshot looks exactly like you. If it doesn't look exactly like you when you walk in that door, throw the headshot in the trash and get another one, okay? Because that is of utmost importance. Hope you guys have a great day and uh, good luck with your careers.